YouTube, welcome to this next installment of the Evion blog. So today guys, we're going to take a look at a cheapy uh, multimeter, the Unity UT201, uh, which is basically an AC clamp meter. Um, the meter is not really an electronics multimeter, but um, it is handy for the tinkerer who's maybe just toying with electronics and maybe doing a few AC current measurements and stuff like that. Uh, the UT201 is a AC clamp meter and uh, digital multimeter combined. Um, she covers uh, 2 to 20 amps and 200 to 600 amps AC. Does not do DC amps. Um, it does do diode and continuity test, resistance test. Volts AC, volts DC. So there's no microamps, there's no milliamps, um, there's no millivolts, etc. It's very basic. It's got a few features such as max and hold, etc., which we're going to cover now when we're having a look at the meter. Um, just talking about this meter, the feel of the meter is not very good at all. It feels very cheap and very plasticky. The button dial is not too bad. The display is quite nice and legible. It could have been a little bit bigger but um, the feel isn't too bad. Something that looks quite nice is when you push the clamp on this one here, both arms actually open and close as opposed to maybe like the Fluke 336 or one of the other meters where only one side opens up. But in so saying, I get a feeling there may be some possible weak points here for breakages in the future. It does seem pretty strong, but um, yeah, what seems may not be. So let's um, get a closer look at the, the leads that came with this meter and um, see what they're like. Uh, the meter came with a set of these cheap Unity um, nasty leads, as I call them. Um, very plastic and nasty, nothing too spectacular. But uh, let's take a look at the meter now on the bench. Right, so just a first look at uh, the Unity UT201 uh, before we start doing some measurements. Um, I am going to talk now about the various functions on this and do a few tests with volts, AC, DC, ohms, etc, diode test. Um, so let's uh, have a look firstly at the function of the max and the hold buttons. Uh, for this we're just going to use the DC volt scale, um, get some leads put into this meter. And, uh, let's see what we accomplish uh, and what those actually do. Um, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because sometimes these meters claim to have specific functionality and it doesn't necessarily work out that way, but uh, that's uh, why we do these uh, video reviews so we can actually see for ourselves what uh, is actually happening with these specific meters and their functions. Right, so right now I'm throwing about 18 volts at it, so it's, uh, I'm showing 18.24 volts. Uh, let me jack this up over here so we can see it better. Okay, so what we're doing is we're throwing about 19 and a half volts at this guy. Uh, power supply is still stabilizing, so let's just jack it up a little bit. So 21 point whatever it is. And um, now what we want to do is we want to use the max hold function. So I've got it on max. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it up and then drop it down. So now I'm currently importing about 8 volts into the meter but as you can see it's locked on the max now if I go higher than 27.6 let's say knock around 30 and then back down you'll see it continuously hold the maximum reading if we go close to 40 come back down to 10 volts again you'll see it holds the maximum so the max hold feature does work and it's very different from the normal hold feature which holds the current reading only so whatever you're currently measuring it'll hold that reading okay so the max and the hold function work brilliantly um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the diode test uh, function of this meter and then from there we'll go on to a few voltage measurements and uh, a few resistance measurements and see how this meter stacks up against something like the Fluke 336 AC clamp meter All right. So the Unity UT201 um, clamp meter is an AC only clamp meter um, designed more for an electrician or the sorts but there's a few things that concern me with this. One of them, the CAT ratings, uh, this one is rated CAT 2 600 volts, CAT 3 300 volts. Now if you look at any of the decent meters um, used uh, for electrical work you'll find ratings of CAT 3 600 volts usually. 
So what this tells me is, although this meter will be able to measure the AC voltages that are present, if there's any transients or anything like that, you may have a problem um, using this meter electrically. However, in so saying, using the clamp part of the meter to measure current consumption and stuff like that is perfectly safe. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly safe, but it's a lot safer than actually connecting in uh, with high potential over here. So. Where does this multimeter fit in? Well, personally, I would say this meter is for um, somebody maybe tinkering in electronics, not getting too serious, or maybe even for an auto electrician uh, doing sort of DC volts measurements and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do AC, uh, DC amps on the clamp. Uh, in fact, it doesn't even do DC amps, so that's out of the question over there. Uh, it does do diode continuity test, resistance, volts AC, volts DC, and then of course the clamps uh, AC current measurement. Um, it does have a hold feature, a max hold feature, and the select feature, which is just basically used when you go onto your diode test, if you want to switch between diode test and your uh, continuity tester. So pretty much that's it. Everything else is um, it's quite quite a simple meter so this is a budget meter like I say what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna compare it to I wouldn't say the Rolls-Royce but to something uh, of a brand that's really well known so in so saying we're gonna bring in the Fluke 336 clamp meter to uh, do some comparisons between the two. Now the Fluke 336 is a AC DC clamp meter so it basically covers your volts AC, volts DC, ohms and continuity, amps AC, amps DC. So there's no diode tests or anything on here. Um, it's just a basic electrician's meter uh, with a very good clamp on it. Uh, this can be used for an auto electrician or a, a domestic electrician, even an industrial electrician to a point. This one is CAT3 600 volts rated, not quite as high as my Brayman's, but most certainly a lot better than this uh, Unity meter. So let's uh, get these hooked up and let's uh, do some voltage comparisons and see how the two stack up. Okay, what we've got going over here is we've placed the Unity and the Fluke into AC volts. Um, now, I'm not going to do too much sort of um, voltage measurements, I'm not going to hook up the variac etc, but what I'm going to do is we're pretty much going to connect the meters to AC, 230 volts, uh, and see what we get. Okay, just um, we're getting some bleed through here, uh, past the switch, 1.9 volts AC, so we're going to power on. We got 226 volts of AC coming into the unity, so let me kill that and uh, let's take a look at uh, what the fluke shows us right so let's just do a comparison between the two so we've got our mains voltage on the unity we're showing 226, on the fluke we're showing 228.1 226 fluctuates slightly, that's quite normal for AIM, for mains voltage. Um, so yeah, everything looks uh, quite tidy over there as far as the Unity UT201 goes. So let's power that off. And a few more things we can have a look at. Uh, DC volts and um, the current clamp function of these things. So let's see what we can do. Um, on the DC volt side and uh, do a comparison between these two uh, meters. First thing we're going to do is we're going to switch these meters to DC volts. Uh, both of them are auto ranging which does make life a lot easier when doing comparisons. Just trying to get rid of that bit of glare. Um, which is always a pain when on this workbench. Okay, so we've got our DC volts hooked up. The first thing you'll notice is the little unity is actually giving us a millivolt scale, showing us uh, minus 7.1 millivolts. 
But anyway, let's start uh, turning up the voltage over here. Okay, we're about 1.6 on the power supply. And here, we can start seeing the distinct difference between the Unity and the Fluke. And this is where I say the Unity might be better as a basic electronics multimeter than an electrical one. Because here we're showing 1.6 volts, which is correct, 1.635. So let's go up the scale a little bit. Alright, we're showing 5.4 on the Fluke, 5.5, 5.62. I would tend to lean more towards this one here being accurate, but I'm just going to do a bit of an off-camera measurement now with my Brayman and see what we actually got. We're showing 5.565 on my Brayman uh, TVM829, so the Fluke currently is the more accurate of the two, but um, again the Unity UT201 is thousands of rands less than this Fluke. So let's continue. I'll stop at about, what's that, 15.9. Here we're showing 15.8, 16.01. Again, I'd be leaning a little bit more towards this one over here uh, for accuracy. But um, you still have that extra digit on the little uh, UT201. So let's crank this power supply up as far as this one will go. So we got, what, 31.8 volts. We're showing 31.6, 31.9. So again, here I'm not too sure. Let's bring in the Brayman. Uh, we're showing 31.53 volts, uh, 534 volts, 31.534 volts. So this one over here is still leaning to be more accurate than the UT201, uh, but it is a fluke. Um, bearing in mind again, this meter is designed as an electrician's meter, not an electronics technician's meter. So I think it's not doing too badly for those measurements now. So let's uh, bring that offline. And uh, let's take a look at something a little bit different now. Um, let's go across to resistance. And we've got the resistance scale on the two meters. Let me just grab a couple of test value resistors over here. And let's see what we get. Our first resistor. Okay, my bad for not reading the technical spec. The Fluke 336 will only go up to 6 kilo ohm resistance measurements, uh, whereas I was trying to measure a 10 kilo ohm resistor over there. So that kind of explains for that one over there. But again, the little Unity UT201 showed this more electronic side of things, whereas the Fluke 336 is more of an electrical test. Equi test uh, meter. So I'm not going to go on to too much else. Let's just have a look at the uh, continuity buzzer on the Fluke. As you can hear, nice latching continuity buzzer. Um, let's take a look now at on the Unity. You've got to go into your diode test and then onto your second function. And the leads aren't the best. It's not quite latching there's some scratching in there but it's better than some of the ones that I've heard um, this could also be down to lead issues but yeah not too bad not too bad at all so now the final step is I'm going to um, do some current me measurements using the AC clamp on these two and just see how this little unity stacks up against the fluke uh, nothing too serious just a, a few basic tests Now for the last bit of the review, we're just going to take a look at um, the insides and the protection circuitry of this uh, meter. Uh, we'll start by opening up the battery compartment. Uh, this one takes three AAA batteries, which is a little bit different from the norm. And then we have three screws 
to get inside. So let's get those out. Right, so once we've got the three screws out of here, we should be able to get inside. And take a look. Very cheap and very nasty. The other good news is we're using mostly surface mount devices in here. Very thin little battery leads, the terminals are really cheap. I'm seeing nothing in the way of voltage, over voltage protection on these probes. Uh, there is a PDC, um, so yeah there is some, but I'm not seeing any sort of fusing or anything like that. The clamp is connected with just a basic wiring system, no problems there, that's uh, as basic as it gets, it's all you really need. Um, obviously this is the multimeter IC over here, and uh, yeah, it's... Um, downright cheap and nasty. I would not want to be holding this thing when you get a power surge um, on a 400 volt three phase line here in South Africa or 380 volts because uh, you could quite possibly get hurt. Hey guys, so uh, in so closing the Unity UT201 is it uh, worth buying this meter for um, electrical work? Definitely no. This thing does not have enough uh, protection circuitry inside it to make me comfortable using it on high energy circuits um, but if you're just testing the current drain of a of something using the current clamp hey no problem i don't think you'll be having too many problems over there uh, because this is induced so it's not a direct connection with the high energy um, a few other things that um, I'll note about this specific meter for basic electronics work if you're not doing a lot of current measurements it's fine for checking your car battery it's fine um, for checking if a, a socket is, is live it's fine uh, for short periods of time um, and just for, for general resistance measurements etc it will be fine so yeah I hope that uh, helps you guys in making a decision uh, whether you should buy the Unity UT201 Personally me, um, I'm a bit on the fence over there. It depends on your level of electronics and electrical work, um, whether you should have one of these. Uh, but in so saying, for a few rands more, you can get a lot better electronics multimeter than this. And for a lot more, you can get a really good uh, AC clamp meter um, from a brand such as Major Tech or Fluke or Bremen or something like that. Like the Bremen TBM 3030, in my opinion, is a lot better made than this and it's probably 100 or 200 bucks more than this so thanks for watching guys and until next time take care